here's just a real quick um, thing before I go to bed here. So if I'm over the the depth of the bid, you know, I can just click here, and then I have this through Ninja to confirm. Order pending. So then the order's there, and if I want to move it, I just go here. I can move the stop to, to three lot stop to there. If I want to change it, I just right left click it there, and I can go up, check it, and it's seven. If I, if I right click it here, it goes away. So if I left click, I can change it. If I right click it, order I cancel canceled. It. If you have it on auto, here you have it on auto instead of limit or stop or stop limit. It auto figures out if you're above here and in, in this blue column here, which is the bids, the bid depth, then it's going to be a stop. So it says buy stop. If you're below, it's going to be a buy limit. I think you saw that in the video. Uh, so that's what auto does. As opposed to if you have it on limit, if you go up here, it will try and place a limit by limit, which will just fill you right away. So you don't want to do that unless you just want to get in. Um. <clears throat> and then if you want to just clear all trades down, it shows you here. It should be an arrow popping up. Clear current trades down it will clear out all this stuff here in this column and this column and then if you want to clear this stuff that accumulates here you can clear the up arrow or if you want to clear out both up and down you can use the sweeping broom clear current trades that does so do, do the up in this case since the down's already gone and then if you want to clear out <clears throat> the sells and the buys totals you can click this one which which clears everything all up and down in the middle here too but I already got rid of that so this will clear that so when you so if when the for example if the market gets to a certain level that you want are interested in to do business and you what you do is you you get the market gets there what I do is I clear all trades and then I center it so then this black line is always going to be between these two ticks and then and then you watch now it's super slow here because this is you know globex but you could, we could we could switch this to um the es real quick and uh i think you can just switch it like this and it'd be more active than it is now and uh so it's going to take a second and there it is and now you, if it once it populates all in here, it gets <coughs> gets going here. I thought it would be more active than this. It's not very active. This depth's not even pulling in. What the heck? Anyways. This is totaling all the buys. This is totaling all the sells. This is what it's currently at. Where's the, why is the depth isn't here? What the heck? Oh, why? I'm going to hit F7, F5 again. Refresh. This is too, the market's too slow. Is why. There's no ticks pouring in. It's super slow. That's why it's not updating. It needs tick flow to update. So it's not updating. So anyways, I'm just going to go back to the NQ. It seems like it's even better. And then, interesting though, you know, okay, that stayed there because um, it, was, it, was, it was way up high because it, okay so it needs tick flow there's no tick flow right now there's no orders coming in anyways hope that helps you a little bit um we'll go over tomorrow much more i'm just gonna get to bed though all right bye